been trying to do it right. I've been living a lonely life. My dearest Robert, I am so excited to marry you today. You're the most sincere, caring, and patient person I know. When I describe you, I simply say, he's the best. On our first Valentine's Day date, you told me that you never expected to fall in love with someone like me. But what they say is true. Opposites do attract. We complement each other in so many ways, it sometimes feels like magic. From the beginning, we knew how to pick each other up. And early on, I decided you were the man I wanted to spend my life with. We are the perfect match, and I look forward to spending the rest of my life by your side. I don't think you're right for him. We have come rejoicing into this beautiful house of God, and now we stand with Marissa and Rob on the day that they will be formed as one. For them, this is a moment of unique importance, so let us support them with our friendship and with our prayer. Hi, Robert. Look at her. <laughs> Hi, Robert. Take you, Marissa, to be my wife. Hi, Marissa. Take you, Robert, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. My favorite memory of them together. Somehow we ended up on the beach. We were there. Marissa didn't want to be there because, of course, she had to do some work. And Robert, in five minutes, gets her laughing, giggling, and throwing sand at each other. But it really just stayed with me. Like, this is their relationship. Robert and Marissa keep each other in the moment, and they help each other see what's in front of them and help each other, you know, appreciate what they have. After our wedding, we were in Chile. Senor Eliana, Robert's um, grandmother, had sat me down on the outdoor terrace in Chile and given me some advice. And she said, make sure you live your relationship 50-50. So have equal effort among both parties. That's how you sustain a very positive and, and powerful relationship. And early on, my interpretation was that means literally 50-50. Like, I did this, you're, I'm expecting you to do this. But I quickly learned that many times it's 20% and 80%. And you hope at the end of the journey that it averages to 50-50. I might not always need there when Marissa might need me because of the distance, but I'm glad I can count on Robert to be her light on a cloudy day. Um, you both have touched my life in so many ways, and I am eternally grateful to you both. And now I invite everybody to raise their glass to the couple who have touched us all and wish them good luck in their new life together.